Hey guys, it's Jack here. In this video, I will be reviewing Descendant OS. Descendant OS is a quite good ROM and it is different than other ROMs too. So let's see what does it includes. Under storage settings, you will get Descendant Storage Manager, which is a very aggressive chunk and cache file cleaner. I only noticed this working in Telegram, but it might work in other apps too, as the stickers were getting cleared every single time in Telegram, so I have disabled it. Under sound settings, you will find all the normal stuffs, but there are some new things too. As you scroll down to the bottom, you will find some extra tweaks. The volume panel looks like some mixture of MIUI and iOS style, which looks amazing and the animations are nice too. Pause media is that if you lower your device volume to zero, the playback will pause too. Resume audio can automatically resume audio playback if it was paused by bringing down the volume bar to zero. Which means if your device volume is on zero and you increase the volume, it will resume the playback. Thumb UI enables user interface like one UI, which looks nice but weird at some places too. So under ambient display and sensors, you will find all the normal stuffs like pickup, hand wave, always on. But if you scroll down to the bottom, you will find Enable Clock Flow, which is a new feature from Descendant. This clock flow works when a new notification arrives and it shows an animated logo behind the clock on an ambient display. Under settings, you will find Descendant Health app which shows the pandemic cases. Even after enabling Magis Guide, flashing Magis Guide props and flashing safety net patch, I was not able to pass safety net. Also the wide one security level is L3 which means you cannot stream HD playback in Netflix and Amazon Prime video. This results is with Predator Storm Breaker X 4.1 kernel which is a EAS kernel and as you can see the results are very bad. Also I was not able to record with Geekbench as it was crashing all of the time. In my usage, I got around 5 hours of screen on time as you can see here. 
you guys might be wondering where is the gameplay video it is not possible to record in this room due to very bad ram management in the end i would say that you should wait for the better build because this build is very laggy and contains some bugs too so the bugs that i faced is bluetooth is not working and keeping password on hotspot doesn't work too also the ui with stock kernel and custom kernel is very laggy ram management in this room is the worst with stock kernel i have to reboot every single time because the system ui was getting freezed while i was using apps in terms of gaming the performance is not that great it is very laggy and there were many frame drops too in the end you should wait for the newer build which fixes all of these things thanks for watching and the links are in description